to another video as you'll be able to tell by the title and the little intro that I have just done I am expecting a little baby so I just thought I'd literally come on and tell you a little bit about how I found out when I found out um, and why it's taken me really this long to announce it obviously if you have me on instagram snap snapchat instagram or twitter i don't think i've announced it on twitter as much but mostly instagram and facebook um i obviously announced it when i had my 12 week scan um yes it was a bit of a shock um it wasn't planned in any way but in a sense it wasn't prevented from happening um obviously i have been with my partner now for two years um it'll be two and a half in february and it's obviously december now um i've been with my brother Ralph since i was 17 obviously he was 17 and we're both 20 now um yeah it came as a bit of a shock because like i said it wasn't planned but we also didn't prevent it from happening it just kind of happened um we both over the moon that it's obviously happened and we're both really excited i am about 23 weeks pregnant um it is a friday so i will go 24 on monday so i am coming into my third trimester on monday which is super 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 exciting um i the way that i found out was it was interesting so my periods wasn't regular um I'd literally had my implant taken out and I went back on the pill and then I took I came off the pill to see if my periods would regulate themselves when I come off the implant I had a missed period for a month so I didn't have one I had a bit of a pregnancy scare at the beginning of the year in February um turns out I wasn't pregnant it was just the fact that all the hormones were kind of leaving my body they were up there they were down they were kind of all over the place um so that were fine obviously i didn't go back onto any contraception afterwards because i just wanted my body to have a bit of a break from it i've been on it since i was 13 um because i have like i suffer really bad with my periods the regulating it's just like a bit of a family thing so obviously I went onto the pill when I was 13, came off it, went on the patches, came off it, went on the implant. Nothing really worked as much um, and obviously my implant were coming to run out anyway. So in the middle of, it wasn't really lockdown but the, kind of midway through it I thought you know what I'm going to have it taken out. So I had that taken out. Um, so when my periods did go back to normal, I didn't really question when my periods were coming. Even to say that I've got the app flow, I didn't really notice it as much. So I actually turned around and said to someone at work, I was like, oh, um, you know, I've got a bit of heartburn. And they're all joking, going, oh, um, you're probably pregnant because you know when you say heartburn everyone just automatically thinks you're pregnant and they're like oh you're pregnant you're pregnant and i was like no i'm not no i'm not and then i went home that day and i actually looked on my floor app because i was like i'm surely due on soon um obviously when i had found out um, because my mate was like jokingly 
be pregnant so I was like you know what I'm gonna do a test just to be on the safe side just a bit of a piss take in a way um obviously weed on it did my stuff and it actually came back with two lines um my initial reaction was it's a fake positive I didn't believe it I didn't want to believe it because I'd had a fake positive before um sorry about that um so yeah I it was a bit of a yeah a bit of a shock um so obviously I went to town well first person I told was my mate I was snapchatting her um and obviously we'd yeah we do, we do kind of speak about it a lot um and obviously I told her and she was like shut up um then I messaged my partner my partner was the second person to know and his response was is that a positive test and I was like yeah he then turned around and told me to go get some more tests so i did um i got a range of them because obviously the one that i did wasn't a cheap pound shop one it was actually one of the home bargains cheap ones um so i got a range of them obviously i did not get no clear blue tests because i am too poor for that and I thought to myself, if it is a false positive, then I've kind of wasted money that I didn't really need to waste. Um, so, yeah, I kind of worked out when I last had my period. Now, I last... It's weird how it works. Obviously, I last had my period um, the day that I went into isolation with me and my boyfriend and working out the dates when i found out i was about five weeks pregnant already um and then we slowly found out that i was actually a week week and a half pregnant when i had covid um yeah it it was one of them, um, obviously when I found out that I was quite worried if the baby had had any like kind of bloodstream and stuff like that. Um, I did ask my midwife, my midwife was like, I couldn't honestly tell you, but everything does look normal on the scans and everything. Um, with me not being double jabbed either or having none of the boosters, um, I was quite worried that obviously he had gotten something um but yeah as soon as i automatically found out i was pregnant everyone was presuming it was a boy they were like it's a boy it's a boy it's a boy and now i in the back of my mind thought to myself it's not a boy it's a girl because on both sides of my family especially i've got a lot of girls there isn't many boys um so yeah it was a bit of a shock when i found out i was having a baby boy um no i wasn't devastated i wasn't gutted um i just kind of i don't the, the pictures kind of make me look like i'm not as happy but because everyone was like it's a boy it's a boy it's a boy I kind of started doubting myself that it was a boy um so obviously when the cannons popped it wasn't really a shock or a surprise it's just basically what everyone had been saying the past couple of weeks and this is why i didn't really want to tell show anyone my scan of 12 weeks because apparently you can tell um when i went for my 15 week scan obviously i went to a private one paid and obviously got the gender through that um and obviously <clears throat> then 
I found out and everyone wanted to see my scam picture this that and I just I didn't want to because I knew that I'd paid so much money and I didn't want it to be ruined um, the only person that knew was my mum for the simple reason that my mum wasn't actually at my gender reveal she was at work um, and I didn't really want her to be the last to know because obviously there wasn't a lot of, of my family that was at my gender reveal that I wanted to be there um, so yeah my mum obviously knew first um, it is a bit of a blessing in disguise that I'm having a baby boy because my granddad on my mum's side obviously has a wife, two daughters and three granddaughters. So it'll be nice to have a little running boy around the family. Um, not only that, I think with my mum's side as well because it's not even been two years since losing my cousin um who was also a boy he yeah it kind of yeah i'm kind of make making it sound like it's a sign of them sending me a boy you know cause i'm a big i'm not a big believer in it but you know stuff like that um but yeah it was <clears throat> It was a bit of a shock, obviously, finding out. Everyone had mixed responses. Now, I we found out on the 18th of August. As me and my partner were celebrating our two year anniversary on the 20th. So we was going down to Hull on the Friday. And obviously I was quite nervous to tell my mum face to face and same with my grandma. Um, so I kind of sent my mum, my dad and my grandma and my auntie all text messages. <laughs> because I don't, I can't sit there and physically tell someone something like that because I get really nervous and I start laughing so we did tell his mum face to face and we both kind of sat there and laughed so she thought we were joking until I turned around and said that I'm actually being serious <laughs> Um, yeah it was it was oh. It was kind of, yeah, a bit nerve-wracking. And then obviously, so once we told his mum, we obviously told, we didn't tell the rest of his family, just close family like his grandma. Um, and then obviously after my 12-week scan, I told the rest of my family and we told the rest of his family. And then obviously announced it on Facebook. And yes, it was very exciting. Um, a lot of people say, you know, congratulations, stuff like this. Like, his friends knew and so did mine. Um, I didn't really want his friends to know. Um, just for the simple reason that the boys, they can't keep nothing a secret. But obviously he told one of his mates that I didn't really want knowing. I wouldn't have minded about the rest, but the friend that he did tell, I didn't really want knowing because to me it's my business. And obviously his girlfriend was my mate at the time. And then she kind of got a bit bitchy and was like, oh, well, clearly I know where I stand, this, that and the other. And it wasn't the fact of not telling her i told people that i needed to tell not people that i wanted to tell so yeah it kind of it was one of them and we to this day still not talking i don't really like him he don't really like me and yeah so it's one of them but 
it's taken me a bit of a while to do this video for the simple reason that obviously I've been busy um the beginning of my pregnancy obviously I've I came back from Sheffield and then I went and got a job so obviously I've been working non-stop I'm working two jobs um and yeah I've just not really had the time to sit down and do it obviously I've had the time to sit down today because it's New Year's Eve I'm also a part on sick but the pub is actually closed because a lot of staff have got covid um so i've come in contact with seven people that are tested positive now <laughs> and because the new rules are that obviously you don't have to self-isolate you've just got to do lateral flows so obviously i've been doing lateral flows all week um obviously did one this morning the last one to do is tomorrow and then if i don't have it tomorrow or sunday then i'm clear from the people that i've come in contact with so yes yeah i've not really had time to put the video together film the video do this do that um so yeah it's it's one of them um but Obviously, now I have told YouTube I can do a lot of baby videos and stuff like that. And obviously, fill my what I got for Christmas. Because obviously, there's a lot of baby stuff that people have bought me for Christmas. Um, so, yeah, I didn't really want to do the what I got for Christmas. And then not really get the gist of the first part of why i've got these and that but yes um i have got a name for the baby obviously we didn't really look at girls names we always looked at boys names and we always had one boy's name in particular and that was eddie anthony brewster now obviously his he didn't really have no family members that have passed away in the past. So obviously Eddie is after my great granddad, who obviously I lost 12 years ago. Um, and Anthony is after his dad and his granddad. Um, and then obviously Brewster is his second name. Um, but yeah, it is very exciting. Um, we do like the name and yeah <laughs> so I am glad that I have told you all it is one weight that is lifted off my shoulders and I hope to see you all in the new year bye guys <laughs>